when I was in high school, I learned how to type on one of those classic mechanical typewriter things. You know, if you, you hit two keys in succession, they could sometimes stick, and then you'd have to pull them back. Uh, and then I moved on. Sorry, I'm not going to let you talk yet. I moved on to an electric typewriter, which had a backspace key, and I could use it. But sometimes I would type so quickly that I would release my hands from the keyboard, and the keys would still be chicka, 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 chicka. Uh, that was chicka, 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 chicka. So now... You know, I'm typing on an electronic keyboard. This is one of my favorite uh, ones that I'm using. A lot of people say that the Apple Wireless keyboard, in terms of a, at least a QWERTY layout, works well. But there are different types of layouts for keyboards. Uh, QWERTY, uh, Dvorak, and Moltron. So, wasn't that the name of the woman from that Seinfeld episode, Mol Mol Moltron? I have no clue. I never watched It was Seinfeld. Molva. Oh, anyway. Molva. Okay. So, we've got these three keyboard layouts. So, QWERTY was developed in order to avoid those hammers from ever hitting. The idea is things on the left, things on the right, things on the left, things on the right as you're typing along, and space things out so that you actually have to move your fingers more so that you won't have rows that are next to each other. That's horribly inefficient for the person, but it avoided the hammers hitting so you could actually type a little faster because the travel of the typeset worked out. So once that problem was solved by electric typewriters, a guy in the name of Dvorak invented a... Not John C. Yeah. Invented a layout that was more optimized. So... What are the letters that they give you on Wheel of Fortune? Like the, the freebies at the mm -hmm. end of the show? R, S, T, L, N, and E. Right. And they give you those because those are the most common letters in the English language. So, which ones of those are on your home row? A, S, T, F. Wait, none. No, wait, L. <laughs> Hang on. I, if, yes, I, I, it's, it's, hell. Yeah. Yeah. So, not I very many of them. Could, but those I had to type through. <laughs> Mentally, I was typing through the whole alphabet for a second. Anyway, go ahead. So, that's not very efficient because it means that for most words, you're going to have to leave the home row. So, on the Dvorak keyboard, more of the vowels are on the home row because in every sentence and every word, you're going to use at least a vowel. Right. And so the Dvorak is about 30% more efficient than the QWERTY keyboard in terms of typing. Some people love it. Oh, yeah. It, it's great for a lot of things. But a guy by uh, the name of Maltron... <laughs> That's an awesome name, dude. <laughs> um, developed a... And it's not really a guy. It was a company. Oh, they, they never make, mind. They make the executive keyboard okay. called the Maltron keyboard. And... It is even more optimized than the Dvorak, and I can't type on it because it has the E where the space bar is, so that you're always pushing with, oh with your one thumb, and, and that would totally weird me out, but if you think about it, one thumb being the space and one thumb being the E, those are the two most common characters, and you're putting them on your two fastest typers, and also the ones that can't ever go anywhere. You know, it's not like you ever reach up with your, right. your thumb. Um, and so those are more efficient keyboard layouts that just haven't been adopted because everyone learned to type on QWERTY. On QWERTY. So do you think Dvorak and Moltron will end up taking over the universe of keyboards? I think it would name like Moltron. I think it's got some hope. <laughs> I don't think that they're going to take over mainly because we're so used to using those. And if you had to bounce between keyboards... I love my ergonomic keyboard. I've got one of those split Microsoft ones. But then when I jump over to my laptop, I can't hardly type. Yeah. It's one of the what's one of the reasons why I happen to like well, a lot of my computers happen to be Apple, like specifically my notebook computers, and even all the way down to the, the MacBook Air, it's the same size and, and it's certainly the same virtual and it, layout. And that And it's the same it, it's, it's the same amount of throw. Yeah. Because I've even yep, noticed exactly. that you go between keyboards and different ones that have different amount of push. Yep. 
changes my speed drastically. Huge. And that's been great for me because I, I have like muscle memory that I can do it here and it's easy to translate on any one of the Apple's products. Right. But like the US versus the metric standard, metric is far superior in oh, every yeah. way, but no we're doubt. never going to convince America to switch to the metric you don't think so? system. I bet I bet it'll happen. Maybe not in our life. Well, actually, maybe towards the end of our lifetime. But I, I think it's going to happen. It, then it may happen with the Dvorak stuff. I used to have a cording keyboard that was handheld, and you pushed different combinations, and I was blazing fast on that thing. But when it broke, I had no way to, to right. replace it. So yeah, it just didn't take off. Yeah. Well, what's really difficult is when they print the keys, like on the key. I mean, they print the designation for the key on the key. That would be. It would be easier if you could buy like a. A Dvorak keyboard, but they just cost too much, I guess. I mean, like, the keyboard that you wanted specifically without having to remap. So, actually, on the old, I think it was the Apple IIe, there was an alternate layout for the Dvorak, and you could literally go inside the computer and flip a jumper, and it would switch to the Dvorak <laughs> thing. Um, and that was a big deal. Like, So, yeah, is there support for it in the, well, I'd assume... In most of the operating systems to... Most operating systems allow you to put an alternate mapping on your keyboard. Right. So you could switch if you want. Because that's how you get to some of the like Spanish keyboard layouts and things like that. Yeah. 